Okay, give me <laughs> give it a second. Try to see about the new information on uh, the starters and other Pokemon. <laughs> all the attention to to it. No one else. Just give it all the attention. They're really laying in the cat, the uh, the cat references. Okay, a needing move that releases a sweet aroma. This is a sweet aroma releases. They can memorize themselves around it. This aroma has therapeutic qualities. Makes opponents lose their will to battle. So, what would that put out in defense? Would I make them unable to move for us? For a turn, maybe I'm not sure. Very similar to composition to plants. Well, pretty obvious. Um, say four sixes. Okay. A little cocoa here, or cocoa pepper. I'm sorry to see what a little chunk it is. So, a little laid back, um, little fire truck. Those to eat, you will sprint towards any food it finds with a glint in its eye. So, a, a very hungry, very like a hungry hippo. Skills that absorb heat. Extreme heat is absorbed by the square scale on the stomach and back. Then convert fire energy. These scales are always warm at times they're a little very hot. Uh thing on top of it says fire energy that is leaking out from inside from one's body. When you get inside it, it's head sprouts more flames. Okay. And our uh, sailor boy heel, our sailor boy. I say sailor boy. Sailor moon. Oh god, I've already come up with names for literally each one of them. A series of Pokemon that follow in its trainer's wake. It's tidy and he especially dislikes when his head is dirty. So as we saw in the trailer, in animation, yeah, it's a song. Right there, it likes to keep it clean. Glossy gel. <laughs> Protects his body. Uh, you have to specifically say a gel. Ugh. He's by his own fears to repel water and grind. So basically waterproof. The cough, cough, on top of his head slits back using rich, moist cream. It becomes unkept when dirty. So that's not as much waterproof, I guess. Snow lives to swim freely. Snow is able to swim even in dirtable places with strong courage and battle against his opponents swiftly and repeatedly. Okay, so that might be something. Okay, so. We got sweet aroma from Sprigorito. Coco here just looks like to eat. And you just like to be kept clean. Uh, you know, I'm going with these first Virgo Steel Dictionaries. This little chipmunk, which we're guessing is our Pikachu clone. Well, no, it's not Pikachu clone. It's just a starter one. I can't help it because it looks like a Pikachu clone. Like, look at this face. Look at this. It's just electric. It has static and natural cure. It, that it really, that, that's pretty obvious that it was used by her. We hear a name in the background. That's just a garbage truck in the background. Oh, well, wait. It has natural cure and static. I think natural cure, if you get out of the part, you get out of the battle. It actually cures itself. 
from any status conditions. In addition to your stats, Pomi has electric discharge, discharging organs from its forepaws. It generates a tree of revenant cheese. Then it shots to pull by touching them. <laughs> like a balloon. I wrote a balloon on your head and you shot somebody. Zip fur that stores electricity. Not only is the fur covered in a good insulation against the cold, okay, it also serves its purpose by storing electricity. When it feels uneasy, this condition, this cautious Pokemon will begin rubbish is cheap preparing itself to discharge and electric shock. <laughs> so it's a fluffy store storage of a Pokemon and um it's only if you touch its cheeks maybe and they're shot to shit out of you. I heard it's just to see what it falls into. It's very cute. It's very cute. The chunk. Which I think is a normal type, because I don't want to say electric. Or Le Chunk. It is normal type. The hot Pokemon. Aurora Veil and Gluttony. Wait, so does he use this one? Okay. So he has to start the Star Pokemon in a way. <laughs> oh my god, it faints. Um. It's a nose. Yeah, no one has a big nose, so he can find pieces to eat. Stuff to eat. For truffles? Like, pieces to find truffles or whatever. Uh, the chunk uses his smell to find and eat only the most fragrant wild grass and richest berries. As a result of its diet habit, it comes to radiate an aroma that resembles herbs that both but what one is like? So it's a bug repellent. Huh. To make fate hard but strong. It would take by a and startle and will charge forward and panic. It may appear fat at first glance, but in reality the Pokemon is mostly muscle built by constantly walking around such food. Okay. A more active chunk it but <laughs> more athletes of a chunk. And now let's see about Olive here. Small of a very small olive. Is a grass normal type? Early bird. Huh. It's so bitter and something it will make you flinch. The oil that comes out of its head is a very strong bitter taste. It's not suitable for consumption. When started or attack, it will shoot the oil out, slowing its point down. So it will slow you down, really? And it will cease the moment to run away. So it will slow your speed down. Fine without eating or drinking, I guess, because it's a plant. Fruit it stores nutrients through photosynthesis. As a result, it goes for a week without eating or drinking. It refers to dry, sunny climates. It spins a sun baby. Okay. And I go to legendary and see what they're about. Sorry, I had yawn. Okay. Uh, Two is said to have powers far surpassed those other Pokemon, but details. Still mystery. Okay, we got the names of them at least. So that was it. Just so they're not separate yet, but we gotta get more details later. <sighs> like I said before, Violet is gonna be my regular playthrough of the game, and um, Scarlet is gonna be my nut slot. I think it's kind of fitting because I'm. I did this with Sun and Moon. I went towards uh, Moon and Ultra Moon as my regular pick through. And I went to like the bright one as my nut slot. And I think it's going to be pretty damn nice. It's going to be pretty good. This time I'm going to try my best to um, 
COVID, I'm still learning recording and stuff, how to get recording up and all that. Or at least trying to figure that shit out eventually. But, um, new project. I got months ahead of time, so hopefully, hopefully I can get this, uh, up and running. But so far, it looks really damn good. It really does. We don't got much information, but we got a little bit here and there. We don't have the names of the other three rivals just yet. We don't have the names of those those guys yet. I just noticed that. We only got the name for one of them. Well, a possible one of them. I don't know what's up with the wheel thing in your neck. Is that like a... I'm not sure if it's going to expand or come out of the chest, like a lip or something, or it can detach from his chest or not. Um, the other one, fucking jet engines. That's, that's immediately what I feel like, jet engines, but I'm feeling a psychic electric dragon from it. Maybe dragon, that dragon fairy from you. Um, Dragon Steel. Maybe some sort of ground typing. I know they're both dragons, but I'm just trying to guess like what other type it might be. I'm feeling maybe fairy, steel, ground, dark type would be interesting, I guess. Maybe they have other forms, because I feel like this might be like a base form, like a form of Arceus. I'm I haven't finished that just yet, unfortunately, but, um, maybe it's another form that they take that gives them their type, might make it evolution, they take away typing or give them their typing. Are they, is Giant Man, I wonder if Giant Man did that. So, maybe we have a mixture of the two, maybe we get a Giant Man, a Giant Max form, but also a different typing kind of form, make it evolution. Something like that. They were really do look very. They look fucking good. Come out with plushies with this. I'm gonna buy the shit out of it. I do not care. They look fucking amazing. Both of them look damn good. I'm more looking at towards this one because it looks really damn good. But uh, I'm liking this more. I'm gonna look at it. It looks very nice for. A more science perspective, I guess. And this is a more of a traditional kind of like boots on the ground kind of perspective. Uh, more traditional, more just beast-like. It's still beast-like, but more with technology. Um, electricity, maybe. Maybe something to do with space, because I see all the sparkles on it and stuff. And I'm like, maybe something to do with um, innovation, ideas. Um, and they are but like, maybe thoughts and is instinct maybe some of that like kind of like with black and white but i see it more in this instead of what the black and white legendaries are this this feels like thoughts this feels like ideas to me that's what this feels like to me but <laughs> that's all i can say for now that's all i can say for now but i i do love the design especially of the um we haven't had stars yet, but I love these designs too, especially um, Palmy and La Chonk, but more Palmy actually. I'll probably have Palmy on my teeth for a little bit. La Chonk is very chunky and <laughs> small, small live. It's pretty self explanatory with small live, but I was like, must like those two to put on my teeth for early game at least. But I haven't seen a bird Pokemon yet. For a star bird. Do we have a star bird? I don't know. We might get one in this trailer whenever that comes out. But yeah, I'm I'm very, very excited for this. Let's see how the story goes and how it's played out and stuff. So yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. <laughs>